Hi friend! We heard that you might be interested in hearing a book from us. This is called May Among the Stars. We just read it for the first time today, huh Darcy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna read it to you. May Among the Stars. I can't see. Okay, well come on over here, Sydney. It says, Little May was a dreamer. They say that dreamers never succeed, but Little May was different. One day, May was working on an assignment for school about what she wanted to be when she grew up. Now she's at the table. This is kind of hard. What will you tell them, May? I will tell them I want to see the earth. This is the earth, May, said her mother. The flowers, the grass, the forests, the mountains. We live on earth. I know, but I want to see earth from out there. That's an amazing plan, little May. Yeah. Then you have to become an astronaut. That way you can see Earth from outer space. An astronaut? Do you think I could do that? What do you think? What do you think, Durst? Hmm, let's see what happens. Let's see what her mama said. Of course you can. If you dream it, um, if you believe it, and if you work hard for it, anything is possible. <gasps> is that a bird feeder? Darcy loves that there's a, a bird feeder up there, just like we have at our house. <laughs> okay, what happens next? May asked her mom to take her to the library. She searched for books about space and astronauts. He's an astronaut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After dinner, May drew a picture, pictures of space, and she even made her own astronaut costume out of an old orange curtain and cardboard boxes. And one of our favorite parts of this picture mm -hmm. was the little cat with the astronaut helmet on it. <laughs> Let's see what happens next. Later, she asked her dad, but how do I become an astronaut? It seems impossible. You will find your way, May, because if you dream it, believe it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. Yeah. But space is so, so, so far away. It's closer than you think, little May, and you may get there sooner than you think. Yeah. <laughs> Darcy. <laughs> yeah. That night, May had a happy dream. There she is in her bed. She was dancing in space, surrounded by billions of sparkling stars. There's May. Below her, she could see Earth floating and turning like a shining crystal ball. What do you think she sounded like when she was sleeping, Darcy? Hey. You think she snored like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next morning, May told her parents about her dream. Mm -hmm. She wanted to tell everyone, mm -hmm. and every time she talked about it, her mm -hmm. eyes would light up. Mm -hmm. In the classroom, Miss Bell told everyone to stand in a line on the rug. Today, we are all going to share our dreams about the future. What do you want to be and what do you want to do when you grow up? Who wants to go first? Me. I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a teacher. Football player. I want to be a mom. I want to go to space. And I want to be an astronaut, said May. Wow. 
all she wants to be. That's all she wants to be. All the kids started laughing. Miss Bell asked, May, are you sure you don't want to be a nurse? Nursing would be a good profession for someone like you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Darcy. I don't want to be a nurse. I want to be an astronaut. <sighs> really? <laughs> May felt very disappointed. On her way home from school, May was quiet. She looked out the car window. Her world turned blue and cold. Nothing was the way it used to be. Mm, those are some big feelings. At home, May started crying. Miss Bell said, I can't be an astronaut. What a silly thing to say, said her mother. She told me I could be a nurse instead. Her mom wiped away her tears. My dear May, I hope you didn't believe her. Of course I believed her, she's my teacher. I'm sorry Miss Bell didn't encourage you, but she can't stop you. No one can stop you. Follow your dream, May, and go to space. What do you think, Darcy? <laughs> what do you think, Sydney? Thank you, Mom. I promise when I get to space, I'll wave to you and Dad from the spaceship. Her mom took her hand and they started dancing. You must always repeat to yourself, if I can dream it, if I can believe in it, if I work hard for it, anything is possible. Uh-huh. May went on dreaming and believing and working really hard. And guess what? She went to space and waved to her mom and dad on Earth. Wow! What do you think about that, Sydney? Did you like that book? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you like that book, Darcy? Mm -hmm. We hope you like that book, friend. Mm -hmm. And the extra, um, you know, uh, faces in the book. <laughs> anyway, we will talk to you later.